Hey there, Miranda Wilson here with another fun lesson idea from Science Journal for Kids. Today, we're going to focus on an activity about evolution designed by educators here at Science Journal for Kids. The goal of the lesson is for students to be able to discuss different pieces of evidence for evolution, especially how comparative anatomy can be used to look at the relationships between organisms. The great thing about this lesson is that it can easily be adjusted for students from 5th to 10th grade. All students need to know going into the activity is what evolution and natural selection are. The lesson is also about dinosaurs, and we know how much students love dinosaurs. The lesson has three parts. The first part is a video about the evidence for evolution. There's a great worksheet for students to fill out that helps them organize the different lines of evidence described in the video. The second part is a hands-on matching activity. Students will cut out pictures of bones from two different organisms. They need to match them and use the chart to determine the similarities and differences between the bones. The lesson has some suggestions for discussion after the students are done with the activity, too. Part 3 is reading the article titled, Where Did Flying Reptiles Come From? It discusses the similarities between Lodgerpetids, a small group of non-flying reptiles, and pterosaurs, and provides evidence for how pterosaurs might have started to fly. Another good article to read along with this lesson would be, What Can We Learn About Dinosaur Skin Using a Laser? The article looks at preserved skin in a Cetacosaurus fossil and compares it to skin from other dinosaurs and present-day reptiles. It's got some really awesome images using a new laser imaging technique that students are sure to appreciate. This lesson also has an extension activity where students rotate around stations examining different evidence for evolution. These include biogeography, adaptations, analogous and homologous structures, DNA sequence comparisons, and the fossil record. Some of these concepts may be too advanced for younger students to fully understand. There are Google Slides available to help set up the stations, and it includes an answer sheet for students to fill out as they move between the stations. The Google Slides can even be used for remote student work if you want. Don't forget to take a look at our videos at the bottom of the article page when you're planning your class time. There's always a video meant to introduce the topic of the article or activity to your students. For each adapted article, we also provide an audio version of the article being read for those students who might need some extra help with their reading skills. You can access our audio versions on the web page for each adapted article or on the Science Journal for Kids YouTube channel. That's all for today. If you'd like more teaching tips and ideas for lesson planning, please check out the audio or video versions of our Lesson Ideas podcast. Also make sure to check out our Ask a Scientist videos for short interviews with some of our researchers. You can find them on our YouTube channel. If you have questions or comments, please share them in the feedback form on our website or head to Facebook to join our official community group. You can also sign up for our free monthly newsletter to learn about our latest content. And as always, please visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources. Thank you.